the clinical disorders of the growth hormone. Panhypopisturism. What is panhypopisturism? As the name indicates, this is the decreased secretion of all pituitary hormones. Of all, uh, decreased secretion of all anterior pituitary hormones. It may be congenital, uh, starting uh, from the birth, or it may be due to the uh, developed later in life due to the pituitary tumor. One of the very important uh, is dwarfism. Uh, which occur when the panhypopisturism decrease secretion of hormones that occur during the childhood. So what is important to remember in dwarfism is that all the physical parts of the body, they develop in appropriate proportion to one another. But the rate of development is slow. The rate of development is markedly uh, decreased and uh, as they never secrete sufficient gonadotropic hormones, so they do not pass through the puberty. Most of the dwarfs, or only in one third of dwarfs, only growth hormone is deficient. So there are two cases of dwarfism. In one, there is a decreased secretion of all pitch, anterior pitch tree hormones. In one third, uh, uh, in one third of dwarfs, there is uh, deficiency of only only growth hormone. So these persons they do mature and they can reproduce. But the other one which have the deficiency of all the anterior hormones, so they never secrete enough gonadotropic hormones. So they do not reproduce. Then an other category of dwarfs are African pygmy and Levy Lorraine dwarf. So um, in uh, African pygmy and in Levy Lorraine dwarf, the growth hormone secretion is normal, but there is the hereditary inability to form somatomedin C, which is a key step for promotion of growth. So what is the treatment? Treatment is growth hormone has to be given exogenously. And uh, the human growth hormone is synthesized from E. coli by the E. coli bacteria by the recombinant DNA technology. And what happened was the uh, decreased secretion of anterior hormones, uh, anterior pituitary hormones occur in adults. It may be due to craniophangiomas or chromophobe tumors. These tumors, they may compress the pituitary gland until the functioning of anterior pituitary cells, they are totally destroyed. And the third cause is the thrombosis of the pituitary blood vessels. Uh, this abnormality it may occur when a mother develops circulatory shock after the birth of her baby. What are the general effects? As there is uh, decreased secretion of thyroid, uh, is um, thyroid stimulating hormone so there will be the hypothyroidism person may be lethargic there may be the decreased glucocorticoids um, when there is decreased uh, glucocorticoids the person may gain weight because of the lack of mobilization of fat and there will be the decreased gonadotropic hormones so what is the treatment um, except for the abnormal sexual functions, the patient can be uh, satisfactorily treated by adrenocortical and the thyroid hormones. Now, gigantism. When there is excessive growth hormone secretion before adolescence, then uh, it may be due to the tumor of any tumor of the anterior pituitary gland. And what happens is that the height increases so that the person become giant. And um, they are uh, more prone to the hyperglycemia, the giant persons, they are more prone to the hyperglycemia. Uh, and due to the hyperglycemia, uh, the beta cells of the pancreas, uh, which release insulin, they become overactive. And, uh, they tend to degenerate. In about 10% uh, uh, of giants, Diabetes mellitus can occur. So what is the treatment? Microsurgical removal of tumor or irradiation of pituitary gland. These are the images of which you can well understand. This is the dwarf and this is the giant.
what happens that when the increase in growth hormone after adolescence that when the epiphyses of the long bones they have fused with the shaft now the height cannot increase again it's also due to the tumor of the pituitary gland i'm now the person cannot grow taller because the epiphyses uh, they have fused with the shafts so bones it become thicker soft tissue can grow and uh, the thickness it is marked in a few bones including cranium nose supraorbital ridges lower jaw bone lower jaw protrude forward forehead slants forward nose increases feet enlarges fingers become thicker so this is the image of the acromegaly as you can see uh, image of the face here this is uh, there is thickness of the nose and soft tissues have grown and the lower jaw is protruding forward as you can see from this diagram